For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem in which you have a particle moving along a straight line such that its position is given by 10 t squared plus 20 and this is in millimeters. They want you to find A, the displacement. Displacement is delta s. Now this is very very easy to find. All you got to do is the displacement from t1 to t5. So you got to find s at 1 which when you plug in 1 in t is 1 times 3. I mean 1 times 10 is equal to 30 plus sorry 1 times 10 is equal to 10 plus 20 is 30 so it's 30 millimeters and s is 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 times 10 is 250 plus 20 is 270 millimeters so the displacement is simply the difference between these two which comes out to be 240 millimeters b is the average velocity during this time interval average velocity the average velocity is given by the displacement over the time elapsed so delta s over delta t delta s we already found in the part a to be 240 millimeters and delta t is 5 seconds minus 1 second so it is 4 seconds so the average velocity is equal to 60 millimeters per second. And see, A is equal to the acceleration, which they want to find the acceleration at t is equal to one second. The acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. So first we need to find the velocity. And the velocity is the derivative of the position with respect to time. So the derivative of 10 t squared plus 20 t comes out to be 20 t. And the derivative of the velocity, which is 20 t, is equal to 20 millimeters per second square at any point. It doesn't matter what it is. So the acceleration at 1 <coughs> or any point for that matter is equal to 20 millimeters per second square so final answer for the displacement final answer for the average velocity and final answer for the acceleration at one second please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you